Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up seven. Nasdaq's down 28. S&Ps are off seven and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the first hour. Don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. The way you get the opening call, you come over to our website, at TFNN, and you are going to see it right under Featured Content. Open a call by my man, Mr. Basil Chapman. You hit that button and you hit subscribe. Uh, you can get the open and call for one month for $128. You can get it for six months for $595, which is a savings of $173. You can get it for a year for $995, which is a savings of $541. And uh, bottom line, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Everything to gain, nothing to lose, folks. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? Welcome back. Thank you so much, and thank you for doing the shows. All uh, the help. I really appreciate it, man. My pleasure. Do you have a good time? Oh, I had a blast. And you know, it's just, it's, there's, there's no doubt, you know, folks, when you just take a few days off, it makes such a difference, man. And you forget. I forget that it makes such a difference. Meaning, right. You, you know, notice when you get back. You right. do. You really do. You just, uh, and it's like, it takes a few days. It took me. Like, it took me to Wednesday to really lay back, do you know what I mean? But really? Well, this it, is the first full week of no rain that I can recall, so uh, uh, I hope you had a really good time. Uh, we weather. did. We did. It was beautiful, man. It was beautiful. Very, no, very no. nice. So, what do we so got we're look, here? Well, looking at the Dow, as always, on the left side charts, the daily, in the middle is the weekly, <clears throat> and on the right is the monthly. And this, the, this little panel with these three time frames tells us a lot. Because, um, let me just do this to show uh, some new people to my work. In, my, in the Chapman Way methodology, we try to identify the lowest low bar. We count each higher peak. We alphabetize them. Peak A, then peak B higher. Peak C is higher than B, and peak D is higher than C. Yeah. And it can go higher to an E, F, and G, but it's at D that other things can happen. I like to think of the market as just having three uh, particular uh, directional uh, and moves and it's just a straight line up or down or it's a cup formation where you an arch formation where you go from the left side come up and you come back and retest it or you go from a high and you come down you come back to the high and you test that and then there's a mix which is just the same patterns again i do it in red to say that if you break the left side low you could go quite a bit lower if you break the right side high in the green one the inverted h then you can go higher. So now we'll see how this is put into practice. I like your new colors there. <laughs> Good. Yeah. So it just makes it easier to read. Yeah, no, it looks great. Yeah. So now what we've got, we've got this huge cup. You remember we spoke about this uh, back on the 22nd of April. For subscribers, we went short the Dow. It went just slightly high, and then it turned down at peak D. It ran down to the bottom of 24,701. On the third, we went long, took the, took the short positions off. And uh, just a slight uh, position off we took on the way up, but we were waiting for leg D. We we're still in leg D, but this is where a lot of things can happen. As I said, the fourth highest peak is where we've got to be a little bit careful. But the MACD, the moving average convergence divergence, this particular a tool, it, we call it an indicator right here, has made an M-shaped pattern and it's still very strong. And the stochastics bounced all the way up to 97%. So that's very strong. And so that's suggesting to me that on the short term, unless there is a real bad news series of events that really pushes the market down and sustains the move down, there's pretty good support 200 to 400 points down if we do start down right here. And on the upside, I see the 27,500 is very strong resistance. But... At 27,390s, uh, 27, the high today was 27,398. That's kind of the area that's going to be very important on, in the near term. Then when you get to the weekly chart, you can see that the MACD is strong. Stochastic is up at 95% for a weekly chart. That's very good. So that says as well that you've got a lot of support going to the 27,000 or even 26,670s with the moving averages. So, so far, I'm looking at this and I'm saying, we could have a near-term pullback, but I haven't got, those Those ducks are not all in order. And the monthly chart at nine months down from the January 2018 high, turns around, runs up to a new all-time high in, in October of 2000, uh, 2018, goes from 26,618 to 26,951. Then it has the big plunge into the December low of 21,712, 
to me, this is a brand new move, and it's very good because it's got the it's got nine months to the left, nine months to the right. This is the ninth yeah. month, and it's in leg C. So so far, this is good, and you can see it is just testing this what I call Chapman wave inside uh, track resistance level. So that means if it does go to 27,500s, it really has broken a lot of uh, key, key resistance levels. So far, I like it all. We've got, <coughs> excuse me, we've got about a 21% gain in our the long uh, position that we have in the Dow. We've got uh, very nice gains in some of the other indices. Most importantly, I've been talking about the IAI. So this is one that you can use more as a tool than anything else. We are long, but there's very little volume, so you have to have a lot of confidence. And this is the broker dealer index. Yes. And it's gone, in my, and I've been talking for some time on my show and for subscribers to say that if the IAA, which was trading in the 63, 62 area, we, we're along from 60. It's a 65.91, and I said, if it gets to the 65s and then can treat the 63 area, 62, where it was a resistance, treated as support, that's going to start to tell me that, yes, people are, in fact, going into uh, stocks more than ever before. And this is just my reading of it. And that means that the broker index is becoming more of an indicator, for me, a positive indicator. And uh, I, I, like, I like it just as a tool, even though, as I, as I say, we are long. Sure. But one can use it because it's giving a lot of information. We are long Schwab, and this had a nice break to the upside today at 41.61. It did, and you know what's amazing about Schwab, uh, Basil, is that the, when they come out their numbers, folks, it, 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 the numbers, you know, are fine. But the thing was a mind blow when I heard they opened four hundred thousand accounts. <laughs> I never knew that. And, yeah, I, and like they're already huge. It's like four hundred thousand accounts. It's like, oh my God. Half a million. I mean, that, you know, that, to, to, so to me, this is saying that as the market moves, the Dow goes into because they always talk about the Dow. I yes, mean, three, and, the and S&P was just 500. Yep. But the Dow is the one that they talk about. As it goes to the 27,000s, a lot of people are going to say, you know, I've been listening to all this negative talk and everything. Don, the market's really just moved. This is a good sign. So I think that more and more people will become active in the market because this is the longest bull market I've ever known. I believe it's, it's the longest one. It's the longest streak without, uh, you know, yeah, a major pullback that's for sure but right. it's the longest one that i've ever not heard people talking about you know, oh i see anywhere. what you're saying okay you know, cool you were, yeah you, you, all right so you're on vacation did yeah. anybody when the once they knew what you did, did anybody ask you for tips or tell you how great they're doing in the market did anybody talk about the market no 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 it's the quietest <laughs> stealth yeah. bull market i've ever known so to me that's also a very bullish sign looking out yeah but in the meantime just shorter term i think you've got to be a little bit careful here yeah Folks, the way you get Basil's newsletter, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right under featured content. You're going to see our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. You're going to see the opening call. You hit subscribe. You can get it for one month, six months, a year. Check it out. Everything to win, nothing to lose. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the program tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. Good to have you back. Thanks. Great to be back. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Come right back. Thank you.